Hello, it's Spence, the evil genius, with your WordPress tip of the day. Oh, guys, I've got a fun one today. This one you're going to love. Watch this. If I scroll down the page, see this? See this little button? Watch. Boom. Brings me back to the top. Let's do it again. Whoa, boom. I can't stop. Boom. <laughs> it's so fun. I can't stop. Here's the cool thing. Watch what happens when I click on Resizer and I show you what this uh, responsive site looks like, let's say, in an iPad or an iPhone, right? Let's go to iPad. Boom, it's still there. <laughs> I can even go to a smaller, like a little teeny tiny foom. Boom, it's there. What am I doing? I'm crazy. I need some coffee maybe, but I'm showing you a great little WordPress plugin called the WP Front Scroll Top plugin. And this thing is a blast because it solves one of the problems we've got when we're doing responsive and flat design uh, that's intended for mobile devices, especially. All the content is oriented vertically. So you know how you're whipping that page with your thumb up and down? This saves you all that trouble of trying to find the sweet spot at the top of your iPhone or iPad that sends you back up north. So I just think this is fantastic. And so far I've found nothing that causes any uh, conflicts or interference. So let me show you how to install it and get this on your site or that or your clients. I really love it. So the plugin itself is called the WP Front Scroll Top. And we always go to Plugins, uh, Add New. And we're going to do WP Front Scroll Top is what you'll search for. And I've already installed this like in all my videos. It's already here. But I'll show you what you'll see when you go and search it out. Seems like my internet's a little slow this morning. Here we go. You'll see it'll say install now instead of installed. But you look for WP Front Scroll Top. And once you do, you've got your own tab here, which is really neat. So we'll go ahead and you can set up uh, Scroll Top by clicking on Scroll Top. And there are some things you can do. First of all, you can enable or disable it selectively. You can also adjust the size of the button to override it, but I leave it to auto fit, which is zero by zero, because that works the best. You can change the opacity, the fade duration, the scroll time that it takes to go to the top. You can do a cool thing called auto hide, but that kind of defeats the purpose. Um, what happens then is the actual button will not be there and you'll have to move your finger over that spot. I think that defeats the purpose because, you know, Let's be honest, nobody knows it's there unless they see it. So I like the opaque, uh, or the one with the opacity instead. You can also decide if you want to hide it on small devices because the button may be too big, right? So if it takes up most of your screen real estate, you know, go ahead and hide it and say, what's the maximum size screen uh, to hide it for? So in other words, if it's bigger than 640, you show it. If it's less than 640, you hide it. You can also hide it on small windows, for example, if the width of the window is too small. Just a ton of really cool settings. You can then select between an image or text. And if you type text, you can say, I don't know, go to top, right? <clears throat> let's see what that looks like, actually. I'm going to save that. And let's refresh this page as soon as that saves. OK. This is just fun. I've been playing with this for a little while here. See, now you got a button go to top and you can change the look and the feel of that as well. I kind of like the way that it looks with the image though. I would leave it at that. Uh, you can do the color and custom CSS of that button. You can change the location, bottom right, bottom left, top right. I think it obviously makes sense on the bottom right because it's away from most of the content. And then you can also display it on certain pages or exclude it from certain pages, which is super handy. And they've already included a whole mess of really cool images to select from, right? You can do the gray one, you can do the blue or green, whatever suits your needs. Even some cool uh, textual or contextual buttons. If you're curious, please go ahead and try this out on your site and that of your clients uh, for your next project. It's called the WordPress WP Front Scroll Top plugin. It's available in the repository. And as always, this is Spence, the evil genius. I'll see you next time.